Welcome to the NBC Docking and Entry. It's about NBC, the world's oldest TV channel since November 1926. It started off as a radio channel until it turned to the TV channel. It has soap operas like Days of Our Lives, released November 1965, which is one of the longest running soap operas until the day that NBC decided to take it off air for Peacock. Which is replaced by NBC News Now on September 12, 2022. Which is the worst decision NBC ever made. As it's one of the longest running soap operas. Another World was another one that started back in May 4, 1964. And ended on June 25, 1999. And now it's sent to Barbara. July 30, 1984. And then ended on January 15, 1993. And now... Let's get started with the document entry of the NBC Television Network. Here we go. This is NBC so, yeah, Radio. NBC has launched a radio station back in 1926, which is NBC originally launched as a radio station. 1932, which is the day General Electric, which is they had to sell... RCA, which is Radio Coordination of America, and NBC due to antitrust charges. Now, in 1939, NBC enters the world of television broadcasting. So now the NBC launched their television network in 1939. And now, in 1947, NBC televised the World Series, which is LOB Baseball, for the first time. All through his three-inning stretch of pitching, Blackwell is in fine form, holding the American League All-Stars to one hit and no run. Pitcher Frank Shea has two men away in the National League fourth. And then Johnny Mize meets one solidly and slams the long home run drive high into the right field bleachers. The National League leads one to nothing. With Harry Burkeen hurling in the sixth, American leaguer Luke Appling bats for Buddy Lewis and singles to left. Ted Williams follows with a base hit to right, and Appling goes to third. When DiMaggio bounces into a double play, Appling scores the tying run. One away, and Johnny Sane pitches. Doors singles to left in the American League seventh. Bobby wastes no time stealing second. On Sane's wild throw, Dorr moves to third. Two men are out when Stan Spence bats for pitcher Shea and lines a hit to right center. Dorr scores with the big run that puts the American League in front two to one. When schoolboy Rowe bats for pitcher Spahn with two away in the National League ninth, his fly ball is gathered in by Tommy Henrik in right field. And the American League wins the 14th annual All-Star Game by a close score, two to one. As you cheer the superb performances of today's big league All-Stars, don't forget the All-Stars of tomorrow, the future major leaguers who will come from the nation's college diamonds. In the 1947 National Collegiate Baseball Championship Series, Yale University, winners of the Eastern title, opposed the Western champions from the University of California at Berkeley. They met on neutral ground, the Western Michigan College Field at Kalamazoo, Michigan. California's manager, Clint Evans, chats with his starting battery. Ethan Allen, Yale's coach, visits with George Sisler, one of the greatest first basemen of all time. Sisler is now scouting future big league talent for the Brooklyn Dodgers. 
Major League All right, so that's how NBC broadcasted the World Series back in 1947 and now in 1956. The following very, very special program is brought to you in lively black and white on NBC. Now, that was the first look at NBC's oldest peacock back in 1956, which is the day of NBC first hired the design firm named Sutherland and Hensey to come up with the new image for the broadcaster, which is the designers had made a peacock with 11 brightly colored feathers, dubbed the bird. This was the design to turn it to set room rise and, and tell now, in now, in 19. 59. Produced in association with the NBC Television Network. The network's famous mascot is the peacock. But not only that, NBC also uses the animated snake logo that's been around for a few years since 1959. The snake, not only the snake, has crawled the three letters of the NBC's intro as the three chimes sounded. And now, in 1962. following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. So that was the first time that NBC went to color on television in 1962. And now in 1963, NBC approaches PGP about Erna Phillips creating a soap opera for them. She decided that to base on a concept living not only in real life, but in the alternate world of hopes and desires. On November 22, 1963, the group of executives met at the YMLR agency concerning the death of William Nephews and hear the news about the death of J.F. Kennedy. And now, in May 4, 1964, NBC for near another world on the channel. And now, in color, another world. So now that another world has officially for near on the channel. It ended 35 years later on June 25th, 1999. It ended on Monday, June 28th, 1999. And now, on November the 8th, 1965. Days of Our Lives officially premiered on the channel. Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. This is McDonald Carey. And these are the days of our lives. So that was Days of Our Lives, NBC's longest party soup opera, which is a day that NBC canceled it and took it off the air for NBC News Daily on September 12, 2022. And now, in 1972, NBC launches their own movie presentation as NBC's Movie of the Week. NBC presents Saturday Night at the Movies, the television series which each week brings you the finest in recent motion pictures. Tonight, The War Wagon, starring John Wayne and Kirk Douglas. So that was NBC's first movie presentation, known as NBC's Saturday Night at the Movies, which is in 1972. Which is not only that, NBC, which is one of the most movie presentations, including 15 different films from NBC's television network company, and now, not only NBC got Saturday Night at the Movies, but 
NBC also had other presents, movie presents as well. NBC's Sunday Night of the Movies. NBC's Monday Night of the Movies. And the NBC's Movie of the Week. So that's all of the movie presentations that NBC done. Now, in 1975, NBC switches to the new design featuring an attract box shape in No Peacock, which is NBC's NASCAR. So now, that was NBC's new logo design, which is back in 1975. But, however, in 1976, NBC faces a lawsuit from a public television station known as the Nebraska ETV Network, which is that the Nebraska station alleged that the new NBC logo design, which is almost the exact same copy of ETV's logo, the judge ordered NBC to pay for the broadcasting equipment for the public station. NBC also had to pay for the design of the new logo, new stationery, and new signage for ETB. In return, NBC was allowed to kick the boss design. But, however, in 1979, NBC brought back the peacock, known as That was NBC's return to Peacock, but however, in 1984, NBC for Santa Barbara. And now, that was NBC's new soap opera that premiered in July 30th, 1984. But now, however, in the year Oh, 1986. This is the NBC Television Network. So now, that was the first time NBC uses the modern day Peacock, which is uses on their channel. But however, in this same year, which is the control NBC to back to General Electric which is went through a 6.4 million purchase with RCA Radio Corporation uh, Corporation of America although Rantany NBC General Electric immediately closed most of this Radio Corporation of America's divisions but however in 1999 NBC reabends its network identity which is also the network ID introduced. So now that was NBC's new network identity introduced known as NBC Studios. But now, however, in 2002, NBC launches on Saturday morning kids block. Something big is taking a bite out of NBC. Discovery Kids on NBC every Saturday morning. <laughs> Something really big is on NBC. Discovery Kids on NBC every Saturday morning. So now that was NBC's first kids block for Saturday mornings, which is in 2002. But however, in 2009, NBC introduces the new image campaign more colorful the following programs are brought to you in living color on nbc so now that was the introduction of the nbc's more colorful image campaign which is the network incorporated a plick in your fat for the nbc peacock seen at the end of promos and id sent which in local cycles for all six colors before switch to the multicolor whistle usually Played next to the clip featuring the name character of Tozer on September 30th, 2013, which is NBC altered and modified the 3D logo. The Warmore has a different font. Tonight, the
exciting conclusion of an NBC miniseries. So now, that was the first time NBC uses their own current modern day Peacock logo, which is their current logo on the channel. But however, 2020, NBC launches their own current streaming service called Peacock, which is the new streaming service for NBC. They have some NBC, Bravo, E, and the others. But, however, they have some good movies on Peacock, like Nanians 2, Rise of Guru, which is Lunis' recent movie that out, Jurassic World 3, Donation, which is out this year, and the upcoming Super Mario movie, which is on April 7, 2023. So now, that's it for the document entry of the NBC Television Network. But now, the next week's document and entry will be the history of the CBS Television Network. We will get the teaser trailer for that on the October. But for now, we will upload this to YouTube Friday, September 30th. Thank you for watching this document and entry film. And I'll see you October 7th.